السلام عليك يا أبا عبد الله وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عاشوراء دجاني يفلا الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين As we approach the months of Aza and as our mosques and centers are donned in black our hearts begin to sadden and for 40 days the lovers of Hussein عليه السلام all over the world remember the tragedy of Karbala and mourn for those who were brutally killed on the day of Ashura almost 14 centuries ago. It is a time of year when lovers globally rush fervently to their Husseiniyas, some as lecturers, some as reciters of eulogy, as volunteers serving food and drink, and most as attendees of the greatest commemoration held. But I often think to myself, has this become an annual ritual we carry out? Or is there a purpose in our mourning? What is the philosophy of mourning? And what are the consequences of this act that is carried out by millions every year? I have used the work of Sister Mahnaz Haiderpur, who has beautifully discussed the outcomes of mourning for Abu Abdullah al Hussein alayhi salam using various ayat of the Holy Quran and passages from Ziyarat Ashura to inform this discussion further. This may help us in allowing to grieve with Marifa so that our mourning may have the most positive impact on our souls, thus propelling us to the proximity of the Lord of Hussein alayhi salam, who is our ultimate goal and destination. Although mourning differs across various cultures, the death or loss of a loved one demands feelings of sadness and pain universally. From a Shia perspective, there are a number of ahadith that mention bounteous rewards, both in this world and the next, for those who uphold mourning ceremonies for Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam. But most importantly, it is an act that reminds us to stand up for the oppressed and speak out against injustice in all walks of our lives. This inspires us to want to emulate the most noble of the Prophet's family that we mourn, thus creating an emotional union and bond between the mourner and the mourned that is further intensified and strengthened with every tear that flows in their sadness and grief. Once we are emotionally united, it only takes us closer to the intellectual essence of mourning, where mere tears and expressions of grief are not enough and leave us feeling unfulfilled, but rather appreciating the achievements of our Imam and his followers and safeguarding and completing his unfinished tasks become the most important aims of our mourning and the best form of loyalty that we can express towards our beloved Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. A beautiful point noted by Sister Haiderpur is how she highlights that mourning for Imam al Hussein is an act that takes us from darkness towards light. It allows divine mercy to be shown to us and is an act through which we may attain forgiveness. She quotes the following passage of Ziyarat Ashura, where we ask Allah to include us among those who receive from Him salutations, mercy, and forgiveness. Allahumma ja'alni fi maqami hadha mimman tanaluhu minka salawatun wa rahmatun wa maghfirah. Upon reflection on the Quranic verse that describes how Allah sends salutations on us, Ayah 43 in Surah Al-Ahzab states that it is He who sends salutations to you and so do His angels that He may bring you out from darkness into light. The light here marking a spiritual or goodly life. In terms of mercy, 
Allah mentions his divine mercy four times in the opening chapter of Al-Fatiha alone, as the entire creation of Allah depends on his vast mercy, which protects us from external negative forces and our own inner demons, as mentioned in Surah An-Nisa, Ayah 83, and again in Ayah 113. Sister Haiderpur then ends with the passage of Ziyarat Ashura, where we ask Allah to help us gain the ma'rifah and recognition of the holy imams by placing us in their company in this world and the next and by keeping us steadfast on their paths by stating, فَأَسْأَلُ اللَّهَ الَّذِي أَكْرَمَنِي بِمَعْرِفَتِكُمْ وَمَعْرِفَتِي أَوْلِيَائِكُمْ وَرَزَقَنِي الْبَرَاءَةَ مِنْ أَعْدَائِكُمْ أَنْ يَجْعَلَنِي مَعَكُمْ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةَ وَأَنْ يُثَبِّتَ لِي عِنْدَكُمْ قَدَمَ صِدْقٍ فِي الدُّنْيَا وَالْآخِرَةَ In conclusion, the morning of Aba Abdullah al-Hussein alayhi salam should make us feel as though we are being granted a new lease of life as we emerge from the pits of darkness that our souls have fallen into. It should allow us to feel the weight of our sins decrease and to instill in us a renewed eagerness to rush towards all acts of goodness, kindness and compassion, which only further emphasize and explains the words. Indeed, Hussein is the lantern of guidance and the ship of salvation. Inna al-Hussein, misbah al-Huda, wa safinatun najat. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.